Hello, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! We're back at the Presidential Palace here, and if you talk to that Presidential Aide by the air station that I passed by earlier, this guy will be here, and he'll drop a cult fan number four. Alright, the final issue of that magazine. Uh, you don't need it, but, you know, it gives you a hint to an another one of the side quests. Uh, hey, I saw a little UFO thing, but I didn't see a train. Hmm. Some says something about status full recovery medicine. Hmm. So we got four clues to this side quest. We got something with status recovery medicine, steel pipes, Marlboros, and uh, the number 666. Hmm. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, so I'll just tell you right now. You need six Marlboro tentacles, six steel pipes, and 60, I think they're called Remedy Pluses or something like that. And I need to learn that ability, that medicine refining ability to refine 60 Remedies into six Remedy Pluses. So you got six of each of those items, and then we need one more item in order to complete the side quest. Which, hopefully, I'll be able to get today. So, I'll see what I can do. And there's one other thing that I want to show here uh, in SR that I forgot to point out in the last episode. And also, uh, something I did off-screen since last time, at those shops back there, you can reforge your weapons. And I forged the Punishment weapon for Squall. It's the second best weapon in the game. I happen to have all the stuff for it, so I figured, hey, why not go for it? So, eventually, I will go for his ultimate weapon, but... I need energy crystals for that, and I can't, well, I can get them, but it's better to wait until later to get them. Hey, get out of my way. Stop trying to run me down, man. And also, at the shops there, uh, sometimes they'll give you a gift item for, just for showing up there. Kind of like lottery tickets in Dragon Warrior 2. Oh, well, that's a good thing, but anyway, you want to make sure you talk to this soldier here, just for later. Just keep that in mind there. Okay, so that's everything I can do here. I showed you how to get to the entrance last time, so I'll just meet you over there. Okay, we're back at the city entrance here, uh, just to the left of the shopping center there. So that's one way you can get back there. But yeah, this circle, or the city, runs around in a circle. And then there's like a whole bunch of paths in the middle that intersect and cross or whatever. So yeah, it's kind of confusing. But if you just stay along the outer rim... You'll be fine. Okay, so... Well, I want to rent a car! Come on, man! You mean I'm going to have to walk to get it where I want to go? Nice. Yep, that's right, viewers. We we have to walk all the way to... Uh, where the hell are we going? Lunar base or something like that? What do they need to, to go all the way there? Well, I guess that might be where Alone is. Okay, well, fine, whatever. I don't know why we're still in the city here, but apparently we still have to walk along these roads here. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there's an easier way to get out of here, but uh, well, this is the easiest way that I know how to Okay, made it. So let's see. We got a map here. Let's see. This is the laboratory. That's where Laguna was in the dream there, but there's nothing interesting there. What's up here? Oh, right, the garden that got destroyed there. There's the Lunar Gate. I don't think there's anything interesting at the memorial there. But there is something interesting at Tears Point. I want to head there first, if I can. Now, there is a particular enemy that I'm going to be looking for around here. And that enemy is Marlboros. That's why I've got all the status defense junctions on everyone there. Ah, there we go, Marlboro. All right, so this is why I've got uh, Blizzaga on everyone's attack there. First things first, we want to level it up to give us a better chance of getting more Marlboro tentacles from him because that's what we need. There we go. All right, four Marlboro tentacles. Between that, maybe some cards that I've got. You know, we might be able to uh, take this guy out. Darn it. I mean, uh, what was I saying? Ah, I screwed up what I was saying. Uh, between the Marlboro tentacle tentacles that I'm getting from this guy now, and whatever I've got that I can maybe refine from my Marlboro cards, I should have the six that I need for the uh, side quest there, the occult fan 
side quest there. Did I get up? Nice. Yeah, Adia and Irvine are out of commission, so it's up to Squall now. I guess he's got him stopped or something, I don't know. Come on, Squall! But yeah, this is why I don't have Encounter None. Normally, I probably would for such a long walk here, but I need Marlboros and I need their tentacles. Not that I'm into any perverse sort of thing like that, I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I need their tentacles. You know, I want to reenact a bad anime porn movie. No, no, just kidding, viewers. Wow, this, oh, and Alexander learned his ability. All right, that's what I'm looking for. So let me uh, get the ability set up and remove all those status elements on Irvine and Adea there. Okay, we're all set and ready to go, so let's make it to Tears Point then. I don't know why they call it Tears Point. Well, I know, but uh, they haven't said anything yet. Uh, yeah, yeah, just straight ahead there. Watch out for more Marlboros. If you decided that you didn't want to do all that drawing to get those status spells for junctioning, you should just run from the Marlboros then. That's why I've been drawing all of them this whole game. But yeah, I mean, do you just want to run? Well then... Hey, more power to you. Ah, there we go. You could also use Encounter None, obviously, but... It's also useful to have Sleep and Silence and Pains, too. Almost there. There, maybe, yes. Whoa. What's that torture music? Why are they playing that here? Eh, whatever. What are they doing at this place, anyway? Eh, whatever. And I know someone's going to whine about that. Yeah, that's a life draw point. There you go. Now you know. I don't care about the draw points. But apparently some of you do. No real treasure chest in this game. Eh. We'll get plenty of those in the next game. But anyway, if you go up here, you can get Solomon's Ring. Alright. We need that for the occult. Okay, I'll check this out too. It's a reflect draw point. Okay, let's get out of here then. Okay, so now that we got that Solomon's Ring, we can complete the Occult Fan side quest. So, I've already gotten all the Marlboro tentacles I need. I fought another one on the way here to get the last of the ones that I needed. I've already got the remedies, so since we learned medicine level up, let's use it on those remedies there. We're finding six of those. We got six remedy pluses. We got the Marlboro tentacles. And then we need some steel pipes. So, we're finding six elastoids into steel pipes there. We've got six, six, six of them. Then use the Solomon's Ring, wherever it is. Wow, I have so many items. Uh, there it is, Solomon's Ring. Is that you, Satan? Who is it? Oh, no, no, it's uh, Doom Train. Hooray! We got another GF there. So, yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out without a walkthrough, but there you are. So now we have Doom Train. Let's see what he's got there. He can, When you summon him, he can inflict a lot of status elements, including uh, Vitality Zero. So that's pretty nice there. I'll list some abilities for him, uh, well, in the video description there. What do I want him to learn? But, I mean, the big thing he, wa he gets is status and elemental defense times four, so that's pretty good. So, let's see, that's everything we can do here, so where is that base? Oh, okay, there's the Lunar Gate. I wonder why they're sending us to this Lunar Gate anyway. I mean, I guess something with Alone or Renoa, but... Yeah, I just wish, you know, maybe they would give us some foresight as to why we're going to these places. I don't know. But does this place have something to do with the moon? Or a space station? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.